All right, welcome back to the Rugby League Guru Podcast. We have got Team List Tuesday for Round 8 coming your way. Obviously, a bit of a weird week. We've got Anzac Day on Thursday, so three games there and then a few other games scattered across the weekend. Bring in my 5'8". We've got her in the hot seat this week in the Timmy Williams seat. Katmandu, how are we? You call it the Timmy Williams seat, but... It's the Rook's seat. Timmy's only here once a week. That's true. You probably are there more than him, aren't you? Yeah. Statistically, he should be my seat. Yeah. And we just genuinely don't like him. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah. I don't th- <laughs> think so. I I'm back glad that. we're on the same page. Very good. Now, Teamless Tuesday just come out. Obviously, a very big one. Obviously, you've got your guys uh, like Kalen Ponga. You've got your guys like Jamal Fogarty that have fallen out. Uh, obviously, Braden Trindle's out of the side as well. So, an absolute stack to get into. Let's kick off with the Thursday games. We've got the New Zealand Warriors and the Gold Coast Titans going head-to-head at 2 p.m. Coming to you from Go Media Stadium. That's normally Kat's job, and I don't know why I did that, so I apologize. I didn't know Do you want to outdo me? Do it again. Yeah. Let's see how you go. Well... What an exciting day (laughs) Thursday. Don't do that to me. (laughs) Thursday is going to be an exciting day, guys. We've got three games back-to-back. We're starting with the Waz at home against the Titans at Go Media Stadium, 2 p.m. Who's – tell us about it. Mine was heaps better. Heaps better. All right, for the Warriors. Kate Wall out. Laban starts on the edge. Very, very exciting. A superstar of our game of the future to watch. Uh, on the bench, we've got Zion making his debut, which I can't wait to see. You might remember him from sent off in the trial fame, uh, but a very, very good player. And good to see Dylan Walker back on the bench as well. For the Gold Coast Titans, no real change here off a pretty good game from them last week, at least in the fight to win that one. AJ Brim remains at fullback. Cat, take us to the best fixture fixture of Anzac Day. Dragons versus Roosters. Historic matchup between these two on Anzac Day. This one's at Allianz at 4.05. Yes, obviously a Dragons home game, but at Allianz. Uh, for the Dragons, Jack Bird, he's on the extended bench. Outside of that, they remain unchanged from last week. For the Sydney Roosters, Dom Young returns from his borderline manslaughter charge a few weeks ago, which moves Suwali'i into the centres, and Sam Walker returns at halfback, which moves Connor Watson to Jersey 14. The late game on Anzac Day, Cat. Storm versus Bunny is my team. I'm excited for this one. It's going to be a real challenge, but we're ready. This one's at Amy at 7.50. You guys might need a little bit of Amy insurance going into this <laughs> one just quietly. I think already signed up. Yeah, how good. Lucky you're with Amy. 7.50 p.m. <laughs> uh, the Melbourne Storm, 1-17. to 17. Good news for you super coach players and me and Kat in particular. Chan holds on to his spot. You'll love to see it. Uh, for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, more good news for Katmandu, Gagai returns to the side. Great to see. First game since Las Vegas. Uh, and Jai Arrow as well, named on the extended bench. That is uh, – not on the extended, on the bench. That is a huge in for you guys, Kat, mm. with Totola out for a few weeks. Getting Jai Arrow back is massive. I, know. I saw him in some of the, the promo stuff on TikTok mm. and Instagram and, and it's a good sign. He's in the gym with the boys, so I felt good about it. You were doing a bit of a stalk, were you? I, I don't have to stalk. This is just what my feed looks like. She was in the bushes at training. Don't listen to this social media <laughs> I was media there crap. last week. You were too. We'll I get to actually, that in the future. I did see Jairo from afar. Anyway, let's move on. Well, he mentioned he saw you from afar too. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Take us to the Friday game, Kat. Well, I love this fixture. It's one of my favourites. <laughs> Guru has ridden Sea Eagles versus Manly. Yeah, it's going to be a close game. That is game. like a, a derby like no other. <laughs> uh, just the, the boys against each other. A little no, opposed this, session over there. Yeah, at why not? Why not? No, this one is Eels versus Manly. It is 8 p.m. at Four Pines. So this one is up on the Northern Beaches. Yeah, only the one game on Friday night. So that's going to be a pretty grim wait on Friday, Arvo. We normally have the 6 p.m. For the Parramatta Eels, if you're in the Roo Crew, you would have already known this morning young Ethan Sanders making his debut. He's a halfback, but he will, will be wearing the 6 jersey here. I think he might play 7, to be honest with you, and Dill Brown will play 5-8. Uh, he is rumoured to have signed with the Canberra Raiders and be heading down there next season. So you Raiders fans, uh, I think you'll be more excited to see him than Parramatta fans. Uh, but a very good kid. I watched him play New South Wales Cup on the weekend, played over there at Wentworth Park. Uh, had a good game there. He's had a good few weeks. So congratulations, Ethan Sanders, on his debut. Mike Sivo was playing in that team with him as well in the New South Wales Cup on the weekend. He returns to the side. Ryan Madison comes in on the edge with Bryce Cartwright out of the squad. Bad news. Mm. 
Bad news for Lusik owners. Brendan Hands on the bench. Looks like they will share minutes. Guys drop from that side. Assi, Russell, and Blaze Talangi. For the Manly Seagulls, two big boys return. Uh, Josh Elia and Nathan Brown. Big ins there for the Manly Seagulls. Super Saturday, Katmandu, what do we got? Super Saturday, we are out in Campbelltown. This one is a Tigers home game against what is looking like a very strong Bronco side. Mm, Jaden Campbelltown, Tigers Brisbane. Uh, now on the bench for the Tigers, making his NRL debut, uh, Alamolo, I believe it's pronounced. I don't quite know. I haven't seen him play yet or heard his name pronounced, but he's come over from Super Rugby. He was the rookie of the year there a couple of years ago. I actually thought in trials and stuff he actually looked okay, and from watching some of his union games, I, I thought he could add a little bit. So good to see him getting his debut. I believe Benji had a bit to do with him when he went over and played in the rugby union a couple of years ago, Kat. So keen to see him make his debut. Huge news. I gave this guy one of the biggest raps you will ever see on Bloke in a Bar the other day. Finu, he's gone from a bench forward to on the edge, and I think he's going to absolutely cause havoc out there, which moves Johnny Bateman to 13, which is going to change this team quite a bit. He's a little bit scat man do like you, Kat, Johnny Bateman. A little bit all over the place. Uh, and Finu Bolle, he returns to the bench. So you should see Alex Twole getting good minutes off the pine. Shout out to my draft team in news that no one else gives a fuck about, Kat. What do we got care. next? Some do care. Oh, Brisbane. Wait. But wait, there's more. For the Brisbane Broncos, Jesse Arthurs moves into the centre spot. Uh, Selwyn Cobbo out of this game. Mariner returns on the wing. Adam Reynolds at seven. Payne Haas in the front row and Pierre Cura on the edge. Some absolute superstars returning in this game for the Brisbane Broncos. Take us to the late game, Kat. All right. This one is Cowboys versus Panthers. This one is 7.30 p.m. up in North Queensland. Talk to me about it. Yeah, geez, isn't this going to be a challenge for the North Queensland Cowboys who uh, didn't do themselves any favours last week? For the Cows, I was expecting sweeping changes to this side. Haven't made many, to be to be fair. Griffin Neem, he starts in the front row. And uh, Tom McHaley comes into the side as well. He was really good in the trials, Cat. So hopefully he can be that little bit of X factor through the middle mm. that they're probably lacking at the moment. For the Penny Panthers, Taylor May returns from whatever the hell last week was. Uh, he replaces Paul Alamotti, who had an absolute blinder. The other big news there, which I forgot to right can you believe it or not Nathan Cleary he also returns so a big big in there for the Penrith Panthers a big big in for the Gurus Grizzlies as well Huge. you're gonna buy him this week or what well I've got the cash you got heaps and of I've cash got the trades plenty of, you've almost so, got more trades than cash and you've got a lot of cash I don't know this is one I'll, I'll have a good think about mm. I know it's Nathan Cleary but I'm yeah. in good shape so. yeah hamstring first game back I think he'll be a little uh, cautious. A little game bit one. tender. He might not score like he usually would. Mm, I disagree, Do but I'm biased, obviously. Yeah, I've been holding for a long time. But good to see Nate back. I'm keen to watch him run around this weekend. Uh, take us to the Sunday games, Mandu. All right, this one is Dolphins versus Knights. It's two p.m. up at what is one of the nicest stadiums in Australia, if I may, Suncorp Stadium. Suncorp Stadium. You'll be up there very soon. I will. As will I. Yeah, magic Very round. Very excited. How good. A little bit of magic for you. Caxton round. Uh, for the Finns, uh, no real changes here. I, I think Donahue's on the bench for Sean O'Sullivan. That's it. One worth noting is Connolly Lemuelo. He's available on the extended bench. Uh, but I think Ewan Aiken's got that spot locked down at the moment, so I'm not expecting any changes. For the Newcastle Knights, uh, young bloke, Caelan Ponger, he's out for a few weeks. David Armstrong comes in. So very interesting. They had the option to play Price there. They had the option to move Dane Gagai there. Um, I believe... David Armstrong, he's played the last few weeks in reserve grade. Uh, Fletcher Sharp, I believe he had the jersey before that, but did his hammy a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it'll be interesting to see over the next few weeks if Fletcher Sharp is available, whether he comes in. And a little situation to watch and a little content gold mine for us, Kat. I was at the Caxton Hotel last Magic Round mm -hmm. and Fletcher Sharp came and asked to have a photo with me. Be amazing if he goes from photos in the in the Caxton car park with beer in hand, wearing his Cessnock Goannas jersey, to playing for the Newcastle wow. Knights at fullback in this game in a wow. few weeks. That's what I'll be cheering on anyway. That's a good story. Be a cracker yarn. But David Armstrong, very, very talented player. You might remember him from the trials. He lined up on the right wing for the Newcastle Knights, carved it up. Gagai also returns at centre. And shout out to Dan Gagai, captaining the Newcastle Knights this week. Um, last game of the week, Katmandu, where are we going? Well, we're down in Canberra. Mm. It'll be 4 p.m. Yep. 
So this is a nice little Sunday afternoon one for you. It is Raiders vs Sharks. Yeah, and obviously the big news out of the green machine, Jamal Fogarty ruled out for a number of weeks, a number of months, I should say. Uh, so KO Weeks comes in to wear jersey seven. Uh, Simi Sasagi remains on the edge, which I love, and we're going to talk about him a lot tomorrow, Cat on beers and break evens, one that I'm very keen on. And uh, Hopawade on the extended bench. So we'll see what happens here. Obviously, burn himself cooking up a bit of tucker a few weeks ago. If he comes back into this side, James Schiller would fall out. So that would stop that cash, that sweet, sweet bicky that we're making off James Schiller. Mm. Uh, so hopefully we can get one more week out of Schiller. But I think his break even is about 50 or so. So it might be time to sell him anyway. Plenty to talk about tomorrow. For the Sharkies, uh, Katoa, he returns on the wing. Sammy Stone Street off the back of his debut. Goes back to the extended squad. Uh, obviously, we mentioned Trindle's out for a couple of weeks. Uh, bonehead stuff there. Dane Atkinson, he comes in at 5'8". I thought they'd go with Cade Dykes. They've gone with Atkinson. So can you see how that plays out? I think that's a big, big win for Nico Hines, Kat. Mm -hmm. I think he takes a lot more control again now. Uh, extended bench, as I said, Kate Dykes and Royce the Choice Hunt also there. Uh, obviously, Dale Finucane retired today, an absolute champion of our game. They don't come much tougher, Kat. Uh, so it frees up that bench spot for Sifatalakai to probably stay there, which for me, in my opinion, I think it locks Ido in as a centre over the next few weeks, who thankfully – you brought last week in Supercoach. I did. I did. You you begged on hands mm. and knees for me to do it yep. and I did it. So let's reap some reward. Let's go. I love that. Had a very good game last week too. All right, guys, they are your team list for round eight, Anzac weekend. A big day coming your way on Anzac Day. And later tonight, talk about a big day. What about the big night we've got coming your way? The catch-up for round eight. Kat, this is groundbreaking stuff. Talk to me. Groundbreaking. So the catch-up. Went out on the road last week. Mm. We've all seen Thanks Helen and this meme with Bronson Cherry. And I thought, you know what? I've known about Helen for years because she's trained Josh Mansell, Tyson Frizzell, Campbell Gillard. She's trained so many footy players and she's working with the Dragons as well. It's not just Bronson. There's a reason Bronson trains with her in the first place. And I wanted to go in there, get an idea of her story, talk to her about being an unofficial coach whisperer, an unofficial coach of the NRL. And so I got to sit down, hear about her story, but then we also did some mic'd up Pilates. Now, Rook by name, Rook by nature, I've never done Pilates before or reformer Pilates, which is what she put me through. And it was rather challenging, but it was a good time and she's, just got a fantastic personality. It was super funny and I think everybody is going to love it. Now, you know stranger to a gym and a workout, but no. uh, you came back pretty sore from this one. I did. She, mm. I think it's a compliment. She said to me just too much time in the gym, not enough Pilates. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. But um, Pilates, it, it is different and it's given me a lot of appreciation for if you scroll through her feed, you can see Bronson, you can see the dragons all working out. You can really appreciate just how difficult it is to do what they're doing. And the uh, content off the back of this episode is all fucking time too, yeah, so brace so yourself good. for that. And there, there have been some requests for you to join a Pilates session next, mm. but I'll leave that one with you. I've deleted decide. all of them. Don't worry <laughs> about that. We're a long way away from doing a Helen Pilates. I'm scared of what she'd say to me walking in the door. Be terrifying. Helen is lovely. I'm sure she is. She's so nice. I still check under my bed every night to make sure Helen's not there. <laughs> Scares me. All right, guys, uh, that will be tonight, 7. 7 p.m. That premieres on Rugby League Guru YouTube. So right here where you're watching this and if you're listening, head over to the YouTube. And, yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts and if there's any catch-up episodes or special features that you would like to see, message me and let me know. Yeah, and shout out to uh, the great Matty Georges who uh, Matt, recorded yeah. all that for us. He's yeah. an absolute fucking Legend. wizard. What's his page? Martina Inceptive is his entertainment page, his media page, but Matty Georges is his personal and he's collabed on all the posts. So you'll be able to see who he is and give him a follow and support his work. He's really starting to take over the game. Great he Matty Georges, doing good things. So, yeah, 7 p.m. tonight on Rugby League Guru YouTube and then it'll be on the podcast tomorrow morning. But honestly, if you listen to it on the podcast, you got rocks in your Head, get to the YouTube, take in the full experience. Mm. It's it's unreal. I've watched it a few times today in the CBA Centre of Excellence, <laughs> still giggling to myself. Uh, well, I watched it once and Kat made me watch it back two or three more I've times. I've actually just had it rolling on the yeah. TV all day. She, she, you know, stapled my eyelids open and forced <laughs> me to watch it. A little bit of trauma there. Uh, but, yeah, great episode. Make sure you go check it out tonight on Guru YouTube uh, and then we'll have beers and break-evens coming your way tomorrow. That'll be dropping around midday, you reckon, Katmandu? 
The audio? Both video, audio. We'll drop it as soon as you're Yeah, as done. soon as it's so ready to go. Around about midday. Yeah. Midday, one o'clock, around that mark. So it will be out earlier just because we want you guys to have more time to consume it with the games kicking off on Thursday. Uh, so, yeah, plenty coming your way on the Rugby League Guru Podcast.